guys welcome back to my channel I just filmed a con haul video so I don't know whether this video is gonna be up first or that one but since I'm here already recording I thought I would just make another video this video is going to be a little different I have an unboxing to do and then I have a recent purchase I made and these all fit into the theme of holy grail figures that I bought so I thought since I'm already unboxing two Holy Grail figures, I feel like I just worded that so weird. I have two Holy Grail figures to show you guys. One that I need to unbox, one that's already unboxed. Um, I just couldn't wait to do it for a video because I had to make sure everything was okay with it and it was intact. And then since we're on the subject of Holy Grails, I thought I'd show you Holy Grail figures that I already own and yeah, so that's it's, it's gonna be a lot. So I'm not really sure how I'm going to title this video or how everything's gonna turn out, but I just thought it'd be kind of repetitive to just do a, two Holy Grail unboxings and then another Holy Grail video showing what I own. So I just thought, let's just put this all in one video. And yeah, I thought in a separate video, maybe I will show Holy Grail anime merch that I own that aren't figures. Um, so that'll probably be a separate video, but that this is what this is gonna be and Please make sure you like and subscribe. Let me know what you think Let me know um, if you own any of these if you were able to find some of them um, Or which one's your favorite or which one you're looking for or whatever. Um, just let me know your thoughts and um, Please make sure you subscribe because it would mean so much to me my neighbors are mowing their lawn, so sorry if that is so freaking loud of all times. I guess I have to do it now, but without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do right now is show you the ones that I bought first, just so I can get the boxes out of the way, and then I will show you what I own. First up, since this one is already unboxed, I have been looking for this for literally so long, and... I don't want to say I paid a good price for it because it's definitely not a good price, okay? It's not a good price, especially for the size that it is. It's a 1 8 scale, but I will say I definitely did pay a much better price than I would have if I bought it off a different website like eBay or even, even I feel like if I bought it from like Bai or something. I bought this off of someone from my figure collection. I think they're just getting rid of the figures they own and they just happen to own this one. So um, it is used, but like it, it looks completely new. There's just like a little scuff on the side of this figure's thigh or this character's thigh. But oh my God, we are starting off strong because I know this figure, I think this figure was limited when it came out. <sighs> Y'all, I already put her together and everything. It is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it is Mirai Kuriyama from Beyond the Boundary. This figure is literally so sought after and so hard to find. Oh my God, y'all, I mean, the little scuff is right over there. It doesn't really bother me, um, especially for what she is she has like one over there and then she has like this one over here which is a little more noticeable but it doesn't really matter to me because she's gonna be posed like this and you can't really see it i think she's so freaking cute she's so freaking cute she looks perfect she's not the best paint job but this is literally the only meat i figure besides her like swimsuit one and i don't really don't care about swimsuit figures um so this is the the best meat i figure out there y'all Let's, let's get a b-roll let's get a b-roll going because she is so stunning she came out a while ago so i'm not really mad about paint work or anything i don't care i wanted this figure even her like sword um her sword is a little hard to put in you kind of got to tug at it a little bit or push it what, like twist it in or something um i was scared i was going to break it but i didn't thankfully her nails are painted too which i didn't know they painted pink and she has a ring on and she's so cute y'all she is so freaking cute i love her so much her, she sits on her base pretty well she doesn't like wiggle or wobble um like another holy grail figure i own but yeah 
yeah yeah finally dude finally finally i am this is one of like my most sought after holy grails like this is one that i wanted to get out of the way so freaking bad and now she is here anyways even the box matches the theme of the figure she looks it looks pretty good yeah that's the box i love this line art so much so yeah that is the first holy grail figure the next one i did not take out of the box i just opened the tabs right now um before filming this because it, it'll just go faster that way but it is these are like throwback holy grails y'all so this one is from kaon and it is the hokago team tea time um fifth anniversary yui hirasawa figure look how beautiful she looks in this box y'all or on this box oh my goodness oh i almost dropped it oh my god i i was gonna buy her a few years back because i found her for a better price and than what was listed what she was listed for at that time and i never did i was like no i'll find a better price for it and I never did find a better price for it. Instead, the prices kept rising. And now she is literally, she's so expensive now, y'all. But I recently got her off of Yahoo Auctions, uh, Japan, off of Baiyi. And I got her for, I wouldn't say the best price also, but I got her for a really good price. Like, compared to what she's going for on eBay, y'all, I, I got her for a good price, okay? Ah! Okay, got the inside of the box is so cute. It's just stars, but so cute. She looks so good. <sighs> oh my god, y'all. I love her. It's one of those things where when I think of shows like, let's say, K-On! or Free, I get such, I get such like a wave of nostalgia hit me. And... I love it so much. I miss shows like these so much. I feel like they don't make anime like this anymore. These are like top tier anime. Such a throwback. I'm in love. But here she is. Here is my girl Yui. I love everything about this. I love the paintwork. I love the heart on her face. I love these pins that she has. The way they paint her skirt. Everything about this figure and the paintwork feels so soft. Her hair is literally so well painted and she looks exactly like she does in the series. This, I love Yui. I love Yui. I love this figure so much. I mean, look at this, so cute, so well detailed. I'm in love. I love her shoes so much. Ah, she's so cute. She looks so good, y'all. This is like my favorite Yui figure of all time. Uh, I do kind of want to get the whole set from this collection of Azunia and Mugi and literally everybody. Uh, I, I love the whole set so much, but my main focus was getting Yui first because she is one of the hardest ones to find and I am so thankful that I have her. She looks so good. On to the base. The base is also one of my favorite things about this because it is a guitar pick that, I mean, come on y'all, this is so cute. And I just realized, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but there's like background line work. You could probably see it better here. Do you see all these squares? They're like images of drums, guitars, the keyboard, all the instruments the girls play basically and I just noticed that and I think that's such a neat detail I love this so much it looks so good and then she kind of just sits there there's no peg or anything but she sits pretty well on there yeah so there's that she does come with a guitar and you can pose her differently with her guitar you can have her sit like this with her guitar kind of hugging it or you can just um, have her wear her guitar and her arm is out so I think what I'm gonna do probably I'll probably put her like this because I think she looks so cute like that but yeah she has an extra arm for that the guitar you guys it looks so freaking good oh my god let me just show you this look how amazing this paintwork is 
look at this this looks so freaking amazing these are like raised these knobs or whatever i don't know if you can see that these yellow knobs it's real string ah! i love this this is like holy crap this is amazing you guys oh my god and then this is the extra arm that i'm planning on using for her super cute so now with those aside i own those holy grails now so let's talk about holy other holy grails i own uh, i have two that are sitting on my shelf right now i don't want to take them off of my shelf just because i have them on like an easel I have one of them on an easel and one of them on like this weird nendroid base that uh, it's kind of hard to pose them in or have them like completely stand still in without having to play with it a little bit but you can probably guess what they are but they are next to each other they are the watamote tomoko nendroid and the uh sawako nendroid from kimi ni todoke i love them so much i Again, it's that wave of nostalgia. I think I've been looking more for Tomoko longer. I think it's only because I watched that show before I watched the Kimi ni Todoke, but I love them equally so much. I, I, I can't explain it. They are so adorable. And again, I don't like Nendroids, but like I, I had to make an exception for them and I did. And they are sitting on my shelf now and I'm so happy. Um, they look awesome. I love them so much and I love um, Tomoko's headphones. I love that she comes with headphones so much. So there's that. I know um, Kyo for sure, this Kyo right here is on somebody's holy grail list, some people's holy grail list, uh, maybe a lot of people's holy grail list because I honestly see comments on his figure page of people literally looking for him all the time. I got lucky where I got to get him off of Crunchyroll's store. He was in stock, there was like two left. And I had just finished watching the series at the time. And I was like, oh, I want a kill figure. I went on Crunchyroll's store, found him, bought him. So if that didn't happen to me, and I talked about this in a different video, the situation with that, if that didn't happen to me, if I didn't get lucky, this would have been on my Holy Grail list. Now that we're through with that, let's talk about Holy Grail figures that I had to spend so much time looking for and I finally got. So it was the K-On Yui, and then we had the Mirai uh, from Beyond the Boundary. Next up is, let me just get this one out of the way because you probably noticed that in my free collection, Nagisa is missing. That's because he took me longer to find than these guys. These guys, I literally found them instantly on like, what did I say it was? I think it was Mercari Japan, um, but Nagisa was harder to find, definitely, and I think he's still the hardest to find out of all of them. I got him secondhand, but he's literally like new from somebody off of um, my figure collection, which they were also selling it on their Instagram, but I messaged them on my figure collection and got it. Um, he does wobble, so that kind of scares me. I don't know if you can see that. He wobbles, and he's on one foot, so I'm scared this is going to eventually give out on me and randomly snap. But his peg is metal, so I don't I don't know what the chances of him doing that are. But I love him so much. I have an unboxing of all the free figures if you want to go check them out. Yeah, he is such a good figure. I do kind of want to get the other figures of them where they have the water guns. I love them so much, but I think that one only has Rin, Sosuke, and Haru. And I don't like Sosuke. I will say though, I like him better in the recent seasons, but I still do not like him. <laughs> I just don't, I don't know what it is. I don't like him. When he got confrontational with Haru, I think that just left a bad taste in my mouth and I just, I started hating him ever since, but that's a different conversation. Next up, we have one of my favorite characters from Evangelion and it is, y'all, it is, this Kotobukiya Misato figure and this is one of the best Misato figures out there. I don't care what anybody says. It is, I even like it better than the Mega House figure that recently came out. Um, but I don't know if that's fair to compare because this is an older figure, that one's newer and then they are based on two different art styles. So, but oh my god. I love her so much. She looks so badass. I love this jacket coming off of her. I love this pose. I love that she's holding her gun. I love everything about her. She is so stunning. 
Uh, she is a one sixth, I wanna say. She looks phenomenal. Misato is one of the best female characters in the anime, I believe. I just, I love her. I love her um, so much. And then we have our base right over here. So she sits next to Kaoru and Shinji. She sits pretty well too for a figure that does not come with any pegs. Pretty well made. I love Kotobukiya figures a lot anyways. So I had high hopes for this when I purchased it. So I love her. I bought, I also bought her off of somebody from my figure collection who was super sweet. Okay, now we are gonna go with a magical girl figure. Okay, this was the very first Holy Grail figure I ever purchased. Oh my God, you guys. I have been looking for her for so freaking long and <laughs> she's perfect, you guys. She's perfect. For the time that she came out, I think she's stunning. She's adorable. This is still one of my favorite figures that I own even though it's like not the best quality figure that I own, but it has a special place in my heart. And it is of Ichigo Momomiya from Tokyo Mew Mew. I love her. I hate the base, but I love her nonetheless. She kind of sits on the base differently. She has this long ass peg that kind of just goes through her entire leg. And I think that was, weird but kind of neat honestly i love this pose i love i love that she's holding her strawberry bell everything about this i did pre-order the new ichigo figure that came out and she's gonna look so good next to her ah she's so freaking cute when i bought her she came with the box let me tell you guys i, I have the box let me show you the box this figure is also called perfect figure mew ichigo and that's exactly what she is. She is perfect. Uh, but this box is one of my favorite boxes because it's so neat the way you open it up and how presentable it is. Okay, so you have, you know, you have the illustration it was based off of. Oh, so freaking cute, y'all. And then you have the different sides of the figure. Okay, the way you open this up, why don't they make more boxes like this? It's literally Velcro and it opens up. And when you open her up, you have this whole, all this writing here. I don't know, was this made in 2002 or something? And then you have her presented here. She did come with eight, some kind of like photo card or something. I got the second hand, so I did not get one. It wasn't there when I bought it. Um, and then it has her name. I wish they made the other girls. It would look so cute. Each one has their name and their own. Oh, ah, it's so cute. One, literally one of my favorite boxes ever too. And I hate figure boxes, so there's that. Such a great figure to own. Um, I hope, I know a lot of people who are Tokyo Mew Mew fans and people who just got into the series, lifelong fans, and then people who just got into the series are looking for her and I really hope you find her. I really hope, I, I feel like every Tokyo Mew Mew fan deserves to have this figure in their collection because she literally makes me so happy to look at. I, I, I can't describe how much I love her in words. I just love her. Next figure I have is, I got her for such a good price y'all and I got her off eBay and that is very rare. I mean, it, it's pretty hard to find a Holy Grail figure on eBay for a really good price. When I was looking for her, she had just been listed and I just happened to, you know, be looking for her at the time. It is Chitoge from Nisei Koi. I have an unboxing on this one too, if you wanna go check it out. It's kind of lower in my channel. My voice is cracking now. But this is my favorite Chitoge figure of all time. I don't care about the bunny figure of her. I don't care about any other figure of her. Um, where she's like posing with a peace sign or her swimsuit ones, I don't care. This is my favorite one. This is adorable. This is so colorful. I love this pastel aesthetic. The hair, the pose, everything is so dynamic about this figure. I love it. I'm so grateful that she comes with a um, metal pole. I know at the time when I unboxed her, I said I didn't really like it, but I understand that it's so much safer to have her on the metal pole. Um, instead of a plastic one. So yeah, 
I take back what I said about that. The base is also simple, but so adorable too. You have the, it's and it's kind of colorful with the title over there. I got her for like 150 US. Y'all, you know, she's going for like, I don't know, last time I checked she was going for maybe, I've seen her for four, 500. So I got her for even lower than what figures are going for now. Like regular figures. So, I'm so happy. <laughs> we have Chitoge. I love this series so much. I wish they made another season so bad, but I think, I don't know if that's gonna happen. But anyways, two more figures and they are from the same series. And I'm sure when I pull out the first figure, you'll know what the other one is. I did unboxings on both of these as well, if you wanna go check them out on my channel. Um, but, and I bought them like, God, it took me such a long time to find these guys. It's my favorite boy. It's Yato from Noragami. Y'all, I love this figure so much. He's a 1 8 I believe. He, I love this bottle of yen that he's holding. I, it's removable. I don't really want to take it out now, but on my channel, I kind of show it. Uh, on, on my unboxing video that I have of him, I show it and it looks, literally each coin is sculpted and it's, oh my God, it looks, it's just stunning. I love him so much. I think for this one, his face does look like what he looks like in the series, but I think the prototype was so much better, at least from what I remember of this figure. But he looks stunning nonetheless. This is the only Yato figure out there. Uh, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> um, he came with like three different swords and then he came with this. Yeah, he, he comes with a lot. He's so well painted. His boots especially are so nice yeah I, I i literally i love this he does wobble too kind of on his metal peg and then with him i don't know if you can see i kind of kind of scared to move this but there's line art you can kind of see it here of his crown it's that they kind of sometimes draw on him i think it's so cute i kind of wish now that i think about it that he came with a little crown and you could just put it on the side of him i know he doesn't really wear one in the series it's kind of just like he, now and then they'll draw one on him and it's on like his jersey but i kind of i don't know just for fun i kind of wanted want a crown <laughs> i was also okay i was also considering buying uh, one of the shrines that Hiyori made for him and kind of had like a little shelf dedicated to Yato um, with his shrine and then I have some like um, acrylic stands from the series and I have like a little photo card of him or a little postcard of him that I just wanted to put together and kind of have him sit on, on the shelf but I don't know we'll see we'll see I don't know <laughs> my main my main focus was getting the figure so um with that, I have Hyori, <laughs> and I got her more recently. Uh, there's an unboxing for that. I did mention that the thing that pissed me off about her is that she is so much smaller. They are both from Mega House, and she is so much smaller than he is. Uh, I believe she's a one-tenth, and she is part of the World Uniform series of Mega House. But she's a one-tenth and he's a one-eighth, which really pisses me off because they're from the same series and they're from the same company. And this is the only Hyori figure. And yeah, I just feel like, I, why would you do that? But she is adorable nonetheless. I love her. I'm so happy that I have her and that she finally can stand next to Yato and be displayed. They could be displayed together but those are all the holy grail figures that i own right now okay and the reason why i say right now is because we had some re-releases from figure companies so <laughs> there are two re-releases happening that i am so excited about and i pre-ordered of course from these figure companies and the first one is from freeing and it is this one seventh scale ash links figure I am so happy. I can finally own a banana fish figure. I cannot wait. I pre-ordered him so fast. Uh, I am hoping Kotobu Ukiya and Good Smile Company take a hint and re-release the Nendroids, which I mentioned before in my last Dustin Discuss that Good Smile has been doing such a good job at re-releasing figures that people want and are asking for. So I'm kind of, I kind of have faith that 
they're gonna re-release the banana fish nendroid but i especially want kotobukiya more than anything else to re-release the ash and ag figure those are my favorite banana fish figures and i think it's the cutest one and i love it so much there's also that one ash figure i don't remember who it's from but he he's like he has his um gun on him and he has his like armor on or not armor I don't know his vest his vest I believe it's his vest on he looks he's like in a fighting position or like he's about to shoot somebody I love that one too um but the Kotobukiya one is my favorite okay so last one I don't usually like ordering holiday themed figures because I just think it ends up looking like a decoration and it I just I don't know it feels weird to have it displayed if it's not that holiday i made an exception and i don't know if you guys can guess what it is because it, it comes out in october perfect timing but it is the trick or miku figure from union creative i believe i know a lot of people have um problems with union creative but i think this is one of the figures that they don't have a problem with i believe hopefully i cannot wait to get it with that being said this is my holy grail video i don't know <laughs> what it's going to be called but i hope you enjoyed it nonetheless i am losing my voice so i'm gonna end this video here thank you guys so much for watching please again let me know what you think and which figures you're looking for or which of these do you own uh and i will see you in the next video which is hopefully hopefully soon bye bye guys <laughs>